stick with us because over the next few years, we're going to develop into a company that's going to be to the travel experience what Starbucks is to the coffee experience. World Ventures is becoming a magnet for success because it's basically the nature of what we're all about. It's hard to believe how much ground we've covered in such a short period of time. You know, in our first year, we did about 15 million in sales, which is, you know, pretty impressive for any young company. Our second year, we closed out at right at $50 million. That's a, over a 320% increase in our second year. And we are totally convinced that we will clear in our third year $100 million. And that's only our third year. And I'll tell you what's going to happen much faster than you might imagine is that we're going to become a billion dollar company. And some of you, some of you, especially the people newer to our company, you might find that hard to believe or you think, you know, that's, that's pr- it's a pretty outrageous, outrageous goal. If you've really taken the time and you've studied companies that have achieved that level of success, what you found is that it's, it's rare that a company that invents a brand new product or introduces into a brand new product segment has that type of success. It does happen, but it's rare. What's more common where you see these companies that achieve this mega success, it's companies that enter an industry that's already very, very large, also very competitive, They do something just a little bit different, and they carve out a small little piece of a really big pie, and with that small little piece, they become over a billion dollar a year company. A great example of that is Cheesecake Factory. I mean, we all know how competitive and how big the restaurant business is, and Cheesecake Factory, they're not doing something that much different than everybody else. They're doing things just a little bit different. But they've, they are a super success in business today. One of my favorite examples is Starbucks. I mean, how long has the coffee industry been around, and how big is the coffee industry? Okay, I mean, it, how many companies sell coffee? Starbucks, doing it just a little bit different, they carved out their piece, and now they're a multi-billion dollar company. And i got a little demonstration that I want to show you that I think is kind of fun. The, uh, the coffee industry is $100 billion. So $100 billion uh, every year is spent around the world on coffee. Each one of these gumballs represents $1 billion in annual sales. There's 100 gumballs in here. This is the coffee industry. So Starbucks, if they want to, let's say they're brand new and they're starting out, and they've got this goal to become a billion-dollar company, they need to carve out 1% of that pie. So they would need to have this much of that pie, 1%. So it's really you know, a small percentage of this overall pie. They've been more successful than that. Starbucks actually was able to capture... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They do about eight billion in sales. That's a pretty significant portion of the entire worldwide global sales of coffee. Now, there's another industry that's actually quite a bit bigger that I that we talk a lot about, and that's the nutrition industry. The nutrition industry is $226 billion every year is spent on nutrition. So again, each one of these gumballs represents a billion in sales. So here's the coffee industry. Here's the nutrition industry. Now, let's talk about, and by the way, you may not know this or not, but over half of all the network marketing companies on the planet today, they're nutrition companies. Now let's talk about the travel industry. We need a bigger base here. All right. Here's the travel industry. It's 
pretty impressive, right? Well, it doesn't stop there. That's pretty big, right? There's more. But wait, there's more. Get my workout in. And one more. All right. So here's coffee. Here's nutrition, the entire nutrition industry. Here's travel. <laughs> 